If you have no water or poor water flow from your pumped reverse osmosis system, here are some checks you can perform. After each of these fixes, try to repeat the problem before proceeding. The first thing to check is that you have a good water supply entering the first filter. Close the self-tapping valve, remove the tubing from the first filter, hold the tubing over a container and open the valve slowly. You should have a good water flow. If you don't have a good water flow, then you need to remove the self-tapping valve and bore a 3mm hole in the plastic tubing using a drill. In some cases, the water pressure can cause the hole bored by the self-tapping valve to close over. If you intend to bore the tubing, remember to shut off your mains water. Next, check the pressure in the pressure vessel. You can use any standard car or bicycle pressure gauge. Your pressure should be 8 to 12 psi. If your pressure is low, then you can use a car or bicycle pump to increase the pressure. If your valve does not hold pressure and continues to lose pressure, the bladder inside the valve is damaged and you need to replace the pressure vessel. Next, you need to check the pump. Make sure the pump is plugged in and that the power source is ok and the fuse is ok. Turn the valve on the top of the pressure vessel to open. Turn on your water tap, let the water run and check your pump comes on. If your pump does not come on after a period, then you have three potential problems. Your pump and transformer may be at fault, your high pressure switch may have a fault, or your low pressure switch may have a problem. To check the pump and transformer, unclip the two top filters to gain access. Use a multimeter to check the power. Place one end of the multimeter on the terminal of the high pressure switch and place the other on the terminal of the low pressure switch as shown. You may need to check each terminal combination. Make sure to remove the plastic covers from the terminals when checking. You should have a current of 20 to 30 volts. No current here indicates a fault with your transformer. Use a multimeter to check the two terminals on the low pressure switch. If you do not make a circuit then the switch is indicating that you have low water pressure. If you have no water pressure entering your low pressure switch, the switch will prevent the pump from coming on to protect the pump. Check the water supply entering the low pressure switch. On the underside of the switch, detach the plastic tubing from the switch. If there is no water, then check the water supply to the second filter. If the water flow entering the second filter is ok, but poor pressure exiting, then you may need to replace your second filter. If the pressure is OK on the filter entry and exit, and you have recorded an open circuit on your switch, then the low pressure switch may be faulty. The high pressure switch has been removed from the unit for this demonstration. Attach the mains water tubing to the switch. Hold your thumb over the end of the switch to build the pressure. Put the multimeter on the terminals. If the pressure is high, then there will be no circuit. Release your thumb to drop the pressure. The multimeter should record a circuit, indicating the switch is working.